My name is Kiara Rozier, and I am a junior at Barringer Academy of the Arts and Humanities. My question to you all is, what should really be the highest of all priorities? Making new schools, or investing in the ones that have been deprived and underprivileged since God knows when? The educational system in Newark is literally in shambles and drastically declining. This is being overlooked as if it isn't a huge problem. The unfairness and selfishness going on is ridiculous. Barringer High School is 52 years old, so you can imagine, if you haven't seen it already, how much renovation is needed. In 30 of Newark's public schools, because of the old pipes, there is lead contamination in the school water. This is unacceptable because it was highly preventable. In 2010, Mark Zuckerberg donated $100 million to Mark Public School System. So why is this even a problem? Look at how unsafe it is for students in those 30 public schools who may have been drinking the water. Officials say they don't know how long students at nearly half of the North schools may have been drinking the water with elevated levels of lead. Reported from Dan Ivers at NJ.com. It was said that North will be testing 17,000 students for lead poisoning. If even low levels of lead is found in these kids' blood, do you know it can never be corrected? Right. It will affect their IQ, ability to pay attention, and their academic achievement. <laughs> Just because it's North, a city of high crime, with predominantly poverty-stricken neighborhoods, why should this issue get less attention than, let's say, a city like Ramsey? It's truly unfair because the newer schools in work do not have this problem. Us advocates of the Youth Media Symposium aren't asking anymore. We are demanding change. I refuse to be silent on the fact that I've been an A student my whole school career and I couldn't get into science for wow. One word basically told me to settle for less. One word didn't help children get in the best schools, but instead just randomly pick a school that could even be far. Or in my case, it doesn't meet my needs academically. I refuse to be silent on the fact that my school doesn't have enough updated textbooks, great principals are being fired, and teachers are teaching subjects they aren't certified to teach. My has come up with a vision for change, which is, Equal opportunities for all students in all schools, excellent resources in every classroom, highly qualified teachers in every content area, less focus on standardized testing, a re-examination of one work, and lastly, return of North schools to local control. The system is corrupt. Can you just sit and watch all this go down? We're done being quiet. YMS is demanding a change for all our, our public schools. Thank you. And I have a question. Do you think your child's education is equal to the public schools in suburban areas? Well, yeah. Let me tell you that it's not. We lack equal opportunity for all students in all schools. Here in Newark, opportunities are limited and they are not provided equally for all students. An example of this is in my school, Barringer High School. It's our first year having honor courses since 2013, and we're still missing AP. We have broken computers sitting in the back of classrooms like it's nothing. We have subs that have stayed longer than what they should be. We have a library without a librarian. Like, who am I supposed to go to if I want to take a book? Do I just steal it, or do I just take it? <laughs> right. We have broken smart boards that took a semester into the school year just to get fixed. We have chemistry and biology classes without a working lab. We have classrooms with nine windows but only three shades. And we have bathrooms with doors that don't lock. And now we get cheap boxed water because our schools have elevated levels of lead in our school. And water. These are only some of the things going on in Badminton. Can you imagine if I sit here and name all the things that are going on in all schools? This, this lack of resources, the school not being able to afford adequate staff, transportation issues, curriculums that aren't challenging, and on top of that, unequal opportunities are some of the reasons kids don't, want, don't even want to come to school anymore. This leads to the high rates of absences in the school. Nearly one in four children misses 10% or more school days in their school year.
you between kindergarten to third grade. And it's not that, it's not that different for higher grades. And what's more impressive is that this grades double and triple the state's average according to the statistics from the New Jersey Department of Education and North Coast Schools. This, and many more other reasons, is why students from the Abbott Leadership Institute Youth Media Symposium came up with our vision for change, a six-point campaign to help make North Coast Schools better. We demand a change. We deserve more than this. We shall have the opportunity to rise above and beyond standards. This shouldn't only be for some, but for all. Each and every student in each and every school. We have been below average for so long it has become a normal thing. It is not acceptable anymore that a 30-year education is only worth six. Thank you.